high Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So just to update video um, regarding an issue that seems to be coming and going with Windows 11, which I first posted on back in June of 2022. And uh, um, as mentioned in that previous video, which I will leave a link to in the description, and just to do a quick recap, for some users running Windows 11 build 22621, which at that stage was still in the Insider program in preview, which is now the stable version of Windows 11, there was a device security bug, which was saying for some users that their devices weren't supported, even though they did meet the system requirements for Windows 11. Now, just to do a quick recap, if we just head over to the Windows Security app and navigate to device security, what was happening and is still happening in some cases um, on this page, the device security page, these components, core isolation, security processor, which is the um, trusted platform module 2 um, requirement for Windows 11, secure boot, which is another requirement, and data encryption. These components were being replaced with the error message, standard hardware security not supported on this device security page in the Windows security app even though those user systems meet and met the system requirements. Now, um, as mentioned, I'll leave a link to that video in the description, but just to let you know that unfortunately at this stage, although Microsoft has tried to fix this um, issue um, more than once on a good couple of occasions, which I actually have posted on previously, there is still user feedback and reports, mainly over on Microsoft's Feedback Hub, that this is still an ongoing issue. And I've actually seen um, quite a lot of comments over the last couple of months uh, um, on this channel. And this is also one of the reasons I'm posting today, is just to keep you up to date, because this is still a bug. And if you are affected, seeing um, standard hardware security is not met error being displayed on this page, there's actually nothing wrong with your system. You do meet the system requirements, it's just a bug. And I know it can be annoying, especially, um, as mentioned, if everything should be a right and these components are being displayed with the error message. Now, this um, does seem to be occurring for a lot of users who have actually done a Windows reset. So you've actually reset your Windows operating system. And this seems to have introduced that bug. Um, um, basically, that's a, a main um, kind of reason why this bug has been introduced and is still coming back where users have done a Windows reset which is displaying that error message on this page. And um, although Microsoft at this stage have say they fixed it on numerous occasions, still seems to be rearing its head. Now, something else just to take note of um, regarding the Windows security app and is very closely related. Um, there seems to be another bug also according to reports and mainly due to user feedback over on Microsoft's Feedback Hub, that if we head over to the security processor, which um, is the TPM, uh, to requirement for Windows 11. Um, there's also users who have noticed on this page where there seems to be a bug where um, the Windows security app on this page is saying there is no TPM available. Please check your BIOS uh, dismiss settings. Now, once again, this is just a bug. And um, as users have reported, they have TPM2 enabled in the BIOS and for some are seeing that message on this page. Now, it seems that there are a good couple of uh, bugs doing the rounds of late with the Windows Security app. And as posted recently, um, um, there's also the, a bug which Microsoft has actually confirmed. This bug Microsoft has confirmed, which I actually did post on again yesterday, and I'll leave a link to that video in the description, where the Windows 11 LSA protection, which is, if we just head back to device security and this time go to core isolation, uh, this bug, local security authority protection, where this warning keeps popping up, where um, if you click on dismiss, you can restart your, your device and then that will actually resolve the issue. And um, although that warning is appearing, as you can see in my case, it keeps coming and going, but it's still a bug. Um, local security authority protection is actually turned on. And all these um, components which are being displayed with error messages are actually enabled and turned on. So there's actually nothing wrong with your system. They are just bugs that are doing the rounds. And as mentioned, Microsoft has confirmed the LSA protection issue as posted yesterday. But these other two, although Microsoft say they have fixed the um, the standard hardware security is not met issue, um, still seems to be a problem. And then there seems to be that new one of the um, 
bug where there is no TPM available. But as mentioned, just wanted to keep you up to date and posted as I have seen a lot of comments and there are re numerous reports. And if any fixes do become available or any more info becomes available, I will obviously post and let you know accordingly and keep you, keep you up to date and in the loop. So thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.